How to add the buy with Prime button on your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I will show you step by step how we can actually achieve this. So, well, what I'm trying to say here is if we just go to our online store and we just go to um, our product, here we can just go ahead and actually add a third button, which is going to be, uh, well, buy with Prime. And we can actually just achieve this very easily. Now, it is actually going to require a subscription, uh, but it is what it is. And I will show you how to actually achieve this. So, first, you will need to just go ahead and open up your Shopify admin. And then from here, you would want to just click on add apps. Then you would want to just go to your Shopify app store. And we are just going to look for a specific application that is going to make this work, which is going to be Lobotic Amazon uh, by Button. So just go in and search for Amazon by button or Lib Libwatech. There you go. Uh, and we just want to select this one right here. And we, as you, we just basically want to click on install. Now, here's the thing. You do have a free plan, uh, but it's not going to include all the buttons, including the prime one. The prime button is actually going to require the uh, plan, the pro plan. So I'm just going to show you how it's going to actually work and then it's going to be completely up to you whether you actually want to use it or not. So here you would want to just click on install. And then we just basically want uh, to install it to our Shopify so we can actually set up the button. And just give it a sec. It shouldn't really take too long here. And then it just should open up this tab for you. Now, you may not have any products at the bottom. You may want to just click on select products and add them manually first. But here, here's what we actually need to do. First is going to be the marketplace. By default, it's going to be Amazon and it's going to be actually for free if you want to use Amazon itself. But we don't want that. We want Prime. So you'd want to just go ahead and click on uh, marketplace and select Prime. Now that we have selected Prime, we can actually see the uh, products here. You would want to obviously upload the products that you want to have this uh, button on them. And then you would want to just click on edit right next to them. And if you did actually subscribe, you'll be able to enter the custom link from your Amazon Prime. So just go ahead to your Amazon, add the link in here, and then we can just go ahead and click on save and enable. So it's, go it's going to look like this with the status turned on and you should have a link down here. Now I did turn both of these on, but it's not going to work for me because I don't have a link. So I'm, go I'm just going to show you the next step with the Amazon one because I can actually access this. Um, I can't access the prime, but it's going to be pretty much the same steps. So let's just let's just pretend that what I have right now is prime. And I actually added the uh, custom link. So I'm just going to do the same for this one as well. I'm just going to add a random uh, code here. And then we just want to turn the status on for them. Now, one last step is just, is just going to be going to the online store and just click on customize when this pops up. And you want to go to your default uh, product page. And then from here, what we want to do is just go ahead and go to the template section on the left panel here. And this should not be here first. You'd want to just click on add block. And then you would want to just locate apps. And you want to add the Amazon button. Now, if it is for Prime, it is going to show up as Prime. If it is for Amazon, it's going to show up as Amazon, as you can see here. But I can't really show you the Prime button because I don't have the link uh, and stuff and it actually is required to uh, have this button show so we can just go ahead and move it upwards if you want and it's going to be added uh, right there actually i'm just going to move it right beneath them like so so anyways this is pretty much how to add the buy with prime uh, button on your shopify store again i know mine is view on amazon but that's pretty much because uh the the one that i set up was amazon but for you, when you actually do the Prime Marketplace instead of Amazon, like so, and actually add the custom links and make the status online, then it's going to be a buy with Prime button. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.